But first, when it comes to vacationing on a dime, our friends from Hotels.com know all the right places. And up next, they are hooking us up with the best bed and breakfast America has to offer. Right now, it's 20 past the hour, and you are watching The Daily Buzz. Whether you are looking for some much-needed R&R or a little romance for the two of you, it's time to consider the unique and charming experience of a bed and breakfast. So, here to share with us a few of her favorite bed and breakfasts and tips for how to plan a perfect getaway to one of these places is our Hotels.com travel expert, Nicole Hawking. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Okay, tips off the top? Yes, bed and breakfasts are a wonderful place to stay, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions out there about what they are. But they are charming, they are intimate, they are local. They are personal and they are easy to find and book. And you can go to a website like Hotels.com just as you would book a regular hotel. They have more than 70,000 places to stay, but they have a specific tab for Ben Breck website that allows you to to search through them, you can compare them side by side, you can take virtual tours, you can even see the star ratings for quality to find a bed and breakfast that is just right for you. Okay, let's start off in the Northeast. Okay, Jackson, New Hampshire. Now, you know, bed and breakfasts are often set in cities that are a little bit off the beaten path or in, in cities that you should definitely visit, and this is one of them. Visitors have been coming to Jackson for more than 200 years. It's in the White Mountain region, and you're looking at the Inn at Jackson. It's just a gorgeous home. It was once home to the renowned Baldwin Piano family. And whether you're looking for that quiet refuge or outdoor reg uh, recreation, there's so much to do in the area. And I think a misconception is that, you know, bed and breakfast don't have modern amenities, and they do. Um, in fact, the Inn at Jackson offers free Wi-Fi throughout their, oh, cool. um, their facility. So it's, you know, still modern and comfortable at the same time. Okay, what about a good mountain getaway? Nathrop, Colorado. Now, this is about two hours southwest of Denver and um, set in the beautiful Rocky Mountains, of course, and it's a whitewater rafting paradise. You're looking at La Roca de Tiza. It is a three-bedroom bed and breakfast. Of course, another misconception is that you share bathrooms. You all, and Most of them all have private bathrooms, <laughs> um, which is, yes, yeah, thank goodness. It's all wonderful with full, beautiful breakfast, panoramic views of Chalk Creek. And, you know, you can always, when you do have concerns, actually talk to someone about it. You can call the experts at 1-800-2-HOTELS and, and ask questions so you, that you can find the bed and breakfast that's right for you and whoever you're traveling with. Okay, what about a little history? Chestertown, Maryland, set on the coast on, on, on Chester, Lake Chester. It's two, made the 2007 list of dozen distinctive destinations um, for the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Really unique area, and you're looking at the Brampton Inn. It's just a beautiful, mag magnificently restored plantation house with gourmet breakfast, lavish tea buffets, um, a really unique experience in, in New England. Okay, about 20 seconds left on your list? Independence, Missouri in the Kansas City region. And this is the Woodstock Inn. I, I really like this place because it's an old doll and quilt factory. It's 11 suites with different themes and decor. And um, a Hotels.com rate from $98 a night makes it really affordable and lots of fun. Awesome, Nicole. Thank you so much. For more information on all these unique destinations, go to Hotels.com or just go to our website, dailybuzz.tv.